Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are talking about new firearms owners. Now, why is this video such a big deal? Well, if you are watching this video and you are a new firearms owner, welcome. Make sure you subscribe and like this video. I will help you on your journey with concealed carry, your firearm, disassembly, safety, cleaning, shooting fundamentals, and so much more. So stay tuned for those. So make sure you subscribe. Okay, new firearm owners. I was there once, we all were there once. Um, so whether it's a hand me down, if it was gifted to you or if you went and bought it, let's talk about some firearm safety rules. The first thing that you have to do is know your firearm safety rules. Why are these rules so important? Well, it's gonna help save your life and or somebody else's. You do not want a negligent discharge when you have your firearm with you or if you're around other people. So this will help prevent that negligent discharge. So you bought a firearm. It looks like this, right? Now, depending on type of make, model, or caliber, that is up to you to know how to use your firearm. You need to know how to use it correctly. You need to know what type of caliber to feed your firearm. There's different types of calibers with each firearm that you need to know because if you mistake a caliber and you put it into your firearm and it's not the correct size, there could be a potential you know, malfunction, misfire, or if that firing pin strikes that primer, where's that bullet forced? So it could potentially blow up. We don't want that and I'm not trying to scare you, but I'm just saying, <laughs> know what caliber to feed your firearm. So let's kind of look at the key component on how to find out that information. Yes, you can go through your user manual, but at the same time, all you have to do is check to ensure that your firearm is empty, magazine is out, give it a little check. I know that it is empty now because I have checked. I'm gonna treat this as it's a loaded firearm at all given points and all given times. Now, another safety rule, right? If you know your four firearm safety rules, you never want to point at anything you're not willing to destroy. So in front of me, I'm just in my office. There's nobody in front of me. It's just you sitting at home. So hey, <laughs> okay. Um, so what happens is to identify what type of caliber that fits your firearm, you're gonna just simply go ahead and look on the upper part of your firearm. The upper part of your firearm is going to have all the information that you need. So the most important part of this firearm is going to be the upper. So it tells you the model, the make, and then the caliber. So just make sure you are responsible. Make sure you're a responsible, responsible gun owner. Make sure that you have a storage location for your firearm. Don't just shove it in a drawer and just call it a day, okay? Let me ask you a question. So if you have a child, or if you don't have a child, you can still answer this question. What do you purchase first? Okay, do you purchase a crib for your baby before she or he arrives? Or do you bring the baby home and then go out and get a crib for your new baby? You probably went out and bought a crib for your new baby so it stays safe, correct? So it's out of harm's way if you have dogs, little hands around you. Um, it's just a safe, secure spot for your baby. Well, I like to consider my firearms my babies. Um, we don't have any kids, we have our fur babies, but these are our babies, <laughs> our firearms. So we are gonna keep them in a safe, dry place. We're gonna make sure that no little hands can get to them and or somebody else's hands that we don't want on them. We are gonna make sure that they are secured, safe, in a nice storage, whether it be a little um, cable lock like this, a gun box, I love these gun boxes. They are portable. They stay charged for six months at a time and they hold up to 10 fingerprints. They can all be your fingerprints or they could be somebody else's. Okay, so that's kind of nice. If you trust somebody and you want them to be able to enter into your box, you can go ahead and activate their fingerprint onto that box and then deleting it is super simple as well. So there's that. There's these large safes that you can get. Um, those are a little bit harder to move. So just kind of keep that in mind. Any safe will work though. So make sure you are taking that step to make sure that you have a proper storage location for your firearm. This also helps prevent also suicidal attempts. 
So lock up your firearms. So how do you know if your firearm is safe to operate? First things first, you wanna go ahead and disassemble your firearm. You wanna check all of the moving parts within this firearm. Now, if something looks like it's off, I would take it to a weapons dealer or a gun dealer and have them identify if it's going to be safe for you to shoot or not. If you don't feel comfortable, go with your gut feeling. It's okay, all right? It is okay to ask questions. Message me, send me a picture. Go to badassconceal.com, send me a message, let me help you. It's better to know than go and test it and then you get hurt, okay? It is okay to ask questions, I promise you. Okay, so just check all of the moving parts. If something does not seem right to you, don't use it. But first, what I suggest before you purchase that firearm, go to a shooting range that allows you to test some firearms. Because once you have tested that firearm, then you know for a fact that you feel comfortable with it, you like the recoil, and you like the way it feels in your hands. So then you're more open to the concealed carry option. If you go and fire a firearm and you don't like that recoil, do you think that you're going to conceal carry with it? Probably not because you don't feel comfortable. So just feel comfortable with it. Go to a gun dealer that has a shooting range. And then once you purchase that firearm, immediately go throw 15 to 20 rounds through it. It doesn't have to be all crazy. You have a peace of mind that you know that this is gonna function correctly for you, okay? Never, never, never Pick up your firearm straight from that dealer or straight from your friend and start to conceal carry with that. And why do I even say that? <laughs> I mean, you can. You're an adult. You can do whatever you want. But what happens if you didn't test it and there was something wrong with it and you went to go use it for self-defense purposes and it failed? Who was responsible for that? You are. So that's why you need to be a responsible gun owner. That's why you need to test your firearms, test your ammunition to ensure that it's gonna function correctly for you. I feel like I'm just like getting off subject and I'm yelling at you. I promise I'm not yelling at you. I just want you to be safe. Um, we all hear about those accidents that happen because somebody was ignorant and careless. So don't be an ignorant person, don't be careless. Make sure you watch out for your own safety and everybody else around you. Don't be a dumbass, <laughs> okay? I love you, but don't be a dumbass. Um, if you guys have any questions, seriously, please reach out. I know having that first firearm, initial firearm is exciting, you wanna go and test it, but if you end up going out and practicing or training and you hurt yourself, you're most likely never gonna carry again. So don't let that happen. You know, you are responsible for your own safety and that starts with knowing your firearm, knowing if it functions correctly, knowing if it's safe or not to even fire. And then also knowing the ammunition, having a safe for it and also training. Training is a huge aspect with the firearm world. Just train, just practice, make sure you're doing it correctly if you're in a different state, let me know. I can try to connect you with some different instructors in your area or simply just do a Google search. This is not sponsored by Google. <laughs> Look at their Google reviews to see you know, if that's somebody that you trust or not. Maybe show up in person to see if that's somebody that you wanna train with. Um, if you don't like their attitude or their vibe, most likely you're not gonna have a great experience. So <laughs> that's just my two cents. Um, but I hope this video helped you just a little bit. Make sure you remember the four firearm safety rules at all given times. And also, stay safe. Until next time, you guys. We'll see you later. <laughs> Bye. Hey guys, on our website, I have a free home defense guide for you to have and to follow along with through USCCA. Also, go check out these badass belly bands. See ya.